Good afternoon. We're going to continue with our media avail or media availability, I should say, following a LiftMaster poll night. We've now been joined by our second place qualifier, Joey Logano, driver of the number 22 Shell Pennzoil Ford. And Joey, um, a solid starting spot for your team um, in one of the most challenging races of the season. Talk a little bit about tonight's qualifying run, but also how you guys will build on that the next couple days for the 600 on Sunday. Yeah, it's a good effort for our team. Um, you know, you look at the you know where where we ended in practice. I wasn't too worried about where our practice speeds were, but it, it wasn't very uh, glamorous, that's for sure. And um, the first round, I was like, oh, maybe I wasn't, uh, maybe I was a little overconfident going into this one. And you know, we were 22nd after the first round, and uh, Todd Gore made some good adjustments. Um, I made some adjustments on my line, was able to uh, get some speed out of our car, and I think we were seventh the next one, and, and then uh, second the last. So, uh, you know, I'm proud of my team. Last year, uh, our weak point in qualifying was maintaining that speed throughout three sessions. Um, and this year, it seems like we don't have much speed the first session, but we're getting better throughout them. So, uh, I'd much rather have be good in the last session. It's a uh, a lot of fun to uh, have a, a car that qualifies well uh, each week here so far. So um, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, we got a couple weeks to figure out how to beat the 20 car. He's uh, very, very fast, obviously. That was an amazing lap they, they ran there at the end. Um, you know, you hear second place, it's like, yeah, it's great, cool. And you hear how far off you are, and you're like, not even close. So we got a, we got a little bit of work to do. All right, we'll take questions for Joey. If you have one, please raise your hand and state your name and affiliation, and we'll start with Reed. I'm Reed Spencer with NASCAR Wire Service. Joey, I'm in a season where the 4 and the 48 have pretty much dominated the 1.5 milers. Um, you don't have a Chevy in the top seven. Does that is that significant for Sunday? Uh, I mean, I mean, I don't, I don't know how much to look into just qualifying. Um, you know, it, those guys have been fast in the race is where they, their speed really shines. They, they qualify good, don't get me wrong, but their speed seems to shine a little bit more. When I talk about you know, those cars, I'm obviously talking about 4, 41, 48. Those cars are the ones that stand out more than everybody else. Um, you know, and, and I'm sure they'll be fast when it comes to race mm -hmm. time. Uh, qualifying is just a different animal. Uh, you know, it takes a completely different setup. Takes a, you know, qualifying can kind of mask over some of your issues that you have in race trim a lot of times. So uh, I think just I wouldn't look too much into it. <laughs> Additional questions for Joey? Okay, we'll go to Lee. Lee Spencer Motorsport.com. I don't know if you've been following what's going on at Indy this week, but you know there's been a lot of crashes and wrecks, and you know um, Hinch himself basically said that it was the the Indy emergency team that you know basically saved his life. Um, you know, we just talked to Jeff Gordon, and he brought up how competent he thinks that the group that NASCAR has, their medical teams, traveling with the the ser or not traveling with the series, but you know that we acquire from track to track do a, a pretty good job um you know considering what we've seen this year you know primarily with kyle um and your past experiences how do you think that nascar's emergency team adds up i think they do a, a good job i think it's always an area for improvement right it's safety we look at race cars and how can we make a race car safer well i think equally we need to look at how can we make our, our uh you know our track safety workers better and, and i'm saying they're not doing a great job they do a great job but how can we make it better? And that's what we do as a race team, how to make a race car faster. I think safety, safety's first, right? That's, that's above that even. It should take, um, you know, above uh, what we're doing there. So I think, um, you know, the way IndyCar has it with the same team that goes to every racetrack, I think that's a great idea. I think that's a, a very good idea. We, we have, uh, you know, a group of nurses that comes along with us and, and that really knows us uh, mm -hmm. personally and knows our, our background and what we've had for issues before. And that really helps out the situation a lot. Um, but I, I do think we can always make it better, you know, but we, we definitely have a, a great group right now that, that uh, helps take care of us in, in bad situations. Um, but I don't think it's something that we just say good enough. You know, we got to always work harder to make that better. Okay, we'll go to Stan next. Stan Creekmore with RPM tonight.com. Joey, how much, how much time did you all spend today on qualifying runs in the practice session and, and versus, you know, race runs and, and will, how busy will you all be tomorrow in talking about everything? Um, well, I made eight laps total today, <laughs> uh, including, including qualifying. So, uh, we didn't spend any time in race trim. 
mainly because 600 miles, longest race of the year. We got to keep some miles off the motor. We got a, a two practices coming up on Saturday um, that we're going to want to make some long runs. This is a long run race. We want to make sure our car is good for that. Um, and so, and we have an idea of where we want our balance to be and where our car is because we had the All Star race last week. So we have a good baseline. We, and. 95% of the cars, I think, came to same, with the same attitude to just say, hey, focus 100% on qualifying today. And that's what we did. Um, we got a good result out of it, which is uh, always feels nice. It's, the worst is when you spend all of practice and qualifying, <laughs> qualifying trim, and then you qualify like 20th. That's the worst. So uh, at least we got a, a good result out of what we did today and the effort we put into it. Um, you know, but, uh, you know, I, I think just the mileage limit kind of comes into play a lot there. Okay, we'll go to Jay. Uh, Jay Pennell with Fox Sports. Last week we saw a piece of tungsten hit Jamie Dick's car and, and go through the windshield and damage that very significantly and hit him in the, actually in the helmet. How concerning is that for you as a driver? Very concerning. Um, you know, I, I looked at, yeah, I hit that, his helmet and I seen the, the roll bar behind it um, with, the, with the cut in it and dented really bad. And that is, uh, that's, one of the worst things I think you, you can see is as a driver, you look at that and you're like, whoa, you know, and, um, you know, I, I believe the penalty needs to be large uh, to to the team that leaves something loose and lets a, a weight like that come out. That's very, very dangerous. That's, dangerous. that's more dangerous than hitting any wall. Um, and I think that's something we, we can't uh, look look over for sure. And, um, you know, I know NASCAR has looked in, in the past of how to keep, you know, debris from going through the windshield and you know, shooting things at them, and we've seen videos of it, and they've shown us, um, you know, and, and you see, you know, how the, the Lexan windshield, and most of the time, it, it, with the tests they've done before, it seems like it deflects it, you know, most of the time, and um, like I said, I'm not a professional at, at, you know, making cars safer, but with the videos we've seen, uh, we know they've worked on it. Um, obviously, it's an area we need to make better, um, because I don't know if we were ready for... 35 pound pieces of tungsten coming through the windshield. I think we were ready for soda cans and you know, little small pieces of debris, not like that. So uh, that's that's something that, that makes me nervous as a driver. Um, you know, it's that Iowa going 150. What if we hit one here going 200? Eh, wouldn't be pretty. All right, George, go ahead. Yeah, over here. Uh, George Diaz, Orlando Sentinel. Uh, last week we saw that uh, Kevin had a hard time chasing Denny down in, in the sprint all-star race. Obviously different dynamics with such a long race, but uh, that's what I'm asking. How do those dy dynamics change considerably in terms of having to play follow the leader, especially in the closing laps, and, and it becomes a very similar challenge I'm, I'm, in terms of the aerodynamics? Yeah, it'll be, yeah. It's why qualifying was very important tonight. We want to make sure you start up front. Yes, it's 600 miles. Yeah, we want to start up front. It's uh, it's it, this race is long enough to recover. Don't get me wrong, but it, it's a tough place to, to make it happen. It's one of the toughest places there is, there is to pass. Um, it, having good pit stall is going to help that a lot. We saw that happen with the 11 car last week. Having that first pit stall got him got him out front, and um, you know then he was able to make that. Uh, I look as a great move to take the air from the four and uh, won the race that way. Um, it's a, obviously a great move on his part. Um, but that's something we're going to fight for 600 miles. We're going to fight that air. It's, it's, a, it's a challenge we have here. It's a track that has a lot of grip. We go very fast. We don't have a lot of horsepower, so we're going to see uh, um, it, it challenging uh, out there to, to make these passes. So we're going to see strategy. Um, you know, people are going to have to take the chance at some point to, to get themselves up there. Uh, whether that you get the reward or not, I think it's just got to be well calculated and make sure you understand what you're doing uh, when you make these moves. Restarts are going to be key. Um, that's when you make that's when you make the most passes. So uh, making sure your car is good on the short run is going to be important. But like I said earlier, it's a long run race, so it's hard to have both. But uh, as a driver, I want both. I can tell you that much. I want I want my car to do everything, and uh, that's something we're going to work on uh, in a couple of days. Joey, we appreciate your time this evening. We wish you best of luck on Sunday. All right, great. Thanks, guys.